वेलकम गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पर्जिंग एंड एडिंग सो फर्स्ट वील सी वॉट इज पर्जिंग सो वी ऑलरेडी सीन इनर्टिंग इन दर्ट गैस सिस्टम वीडियो सो द टैंक इज ऑलरेडी इनर्टेड नाउ वी नीड टू इंट्रोड्यूस सम मोर इनर्ट गैस इन टू द टैंक सो द टैंक इज ऑलरेडी इनर्टेड एंड वी आर इनर्टिंग इंट्रोड्यूसिंग मोर इनर्ट गैस इन टू अ टैंक विच इज ऑलरेडी इन इनर्ट कंडीशन सो इट इज अ फोर्स इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इनर्ट गैस इन टू अ टैंक which is already in inert condition and why we need to put more inert gas because we need to reduce the oxygen content further reduce the oxygen content of the tank or we need to reduce the hydrocarbon content so previously inert gas was introduced for the same purpose but still from the atmosphere if some more oxygen or hydrocarbon has entered in the tank so that we will reduce by introducing more inert gas with force and why we are re reducing the oxygen and hydrocarbon content to avoid any combustion or flammable atmosphere so let's see so you can see here this is the tank which is already inerted and we have this purge pipe it's just a normal pipe on the top of the tank with opening and we also have a lid to cover it normally during loading discharging this is covered so this is a open pipe on top of the tank which is called a purge pipe and whenever the gas is coming out of this pipe that is called purging like you have suppose this is a human stomach and you have gas and it is coming out from opening then it is called purging so same way this tank whatever gas is coming out of this tank is through purge pipe is purging so why we need to or at what time do we need to purge out this gas when the tank is already inerted and ig is coming into the tank then we need to vent the tank atmosphere oxygen or hydrocarbon from inside the tank so ig is coming from here and the gas is coming out from the purge pipe so this is your purging introduction of ig is normally inerting and in that time also gas will come out and further once it has been reduced after some time if you are doing then it is called purging now also the next case of purging is suppose if you are doing on chemical tankers your tank we are not using sometimes ig or nitrogen this tank was loaded with cargo and now all the cargo is discharged so let's see in the other so you can see here this is a cargo tank and we once we did discharge this cargo so we will we will clean this tank with all uh with machines all the cargo will tank will be cleaned with the machine and what uh, water and once the cargo tank is clean we want to free the tank with all the toxic or hydrocarbon gases so we will introduce air or gas in the tank and this gas will keep circulating and finally all the vapors other toxic gases from the tank will purge out from this purge pipe and that is also called purging so basically purging is your gas which is coming out of your purge pipe here then next thing is padding so padding is generally done with nitrogen what is the main padding is that it's called blanketing also like suppose you take a blanket on top of you or padding so it is used for creating a positive pressure on the tank a tank which is already filled with some cargo so tank is already filled with cargo and we put some more nitrogen to create a positive pressure in the tank why we need to create positive pressure because we don't want to allow any air or water to go into the tank because uh, if the tank cools the pressure and temperature is reduced so outside air will go inside so to avoid that because why we want to avoid because these cargoes they react with water and they damage the cargo so let's see the definition first nitrogen blanketing or padding is used to establish a positive pressure on a tank which has been already filled with the product in order to prevent the ingress of air or water and 
because the tank cools. So this is preventing a possible dangerous reaction, damage between the cargo and water air. So like you can see here, this tank is already loaded with cargo and we have a blanket of nitrogen on top of it. Of course, this is just a zoomed view. Generally, the tank is 98% full, but whatever, till whatever tank it is uh, level, it is full. If this cargo reacts with air or water, we don't want any air or water to come inside. And that's why we fill the top of the tank with nitrogen. So that is called, this is a nitrogen pad. And when we introduce this nitrogen, that is your nitrogen padding. So already loaded cargo tank, we introduce nitrogen or inert gas that is called padding. Why we are doing to allow, avoid any air or water to come inside. And if air or water come, these uh, cargos are very expensive and very sensitive. If they react with air or water, they will get contaminated or damaged. And then there will be a lot of claims for cargo. So to avoid that, we do nitrogen padding. There are other gases also. So it's not about gas. Sometimes we use hexene or some more pure forms of nitrogen. Basically the process is called padding. You can use any gas. So thanks guys and we will keep coming with future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe.